Well, Vanderbilt, I know our show is usually kind of like a circus, but it is even more so today because we did, in fact, oh God, bring j Pack. So, please tell the student bodies there. Oh, I'm sorry, this is Ben and Jess. Hi. Miss Jess. Please explain what j Pack is to the Vanderbilt student population. Sure. So, j Pack is Vanderbilt Juggling and Physical Arts Club. Uh, a lot of you probably know us as Juggleville. Uh, so, that mistake is made, but <laughs> Juggleville is the show that j Pack creates. Yeah. And it is obviously filled with juggling and physical arts. Absolutely. Now, Ben, pay attention to the extreme focus he has here. <laughs> ben is not going to break for. Ben! Nope. No. See? No. That is a professional. Oh, oh. Is oh. Gonna he's, he's not going to win. win. You know, I'm tempted to close it in. I think he's got it. Right. I can no. just go into four. I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so was a challenge. All right. But, so, all right. So, J, J Pack. Puts on Juggleville. Juggleville mm -hmm. is this weekend. Correct? It is. It is this weekend. It is this weekend. Now, now uh, which days is it showing? Uh, so Juggleville is on Friday at eight o'clock and Saturday at two o'clock and eight o'clock. So we have three shows and they're all in Ingram. Okay. So and, and by Ingram you mean what in Blair, not Hank I Blair. yeah, not at Hank Ingram House. Although if you're in Hank Ingram House, you can come and feel right at home. You absolutely. <laughs> and all right, so that's that's fun. And the, I was uh, I was talking to Ben earlier about it. There is actually kind of storyline. There is. Right, within, within, yes. within the juggling extravaganza that is Juggleville. Yep. Right, so, so can you describe the Juggleville storyline almost a little sure. bit? Sure. So it's um, a bit of a cops and robbers theme. And we have our detective, our lovely detective, who's actually a freshman, so oh. very brave of her. And we fun, have yes. three thieves. And they are essentially going to steal some of our juggling balls and clubs. And the detective is going to try and get them back. Okay, okay, so I'm, I'm foreseeing like battles, well, most with, with there are some battles, there's everywhere. there are a few chases, there might be some slow mo, you know, slow mo, <laughs> slow mo, juggling. I feel like gravity kind of dictates the speed. We of defy <laughs> gravity, <laughs> <laughs> anything is well, possible. Well, well, guys. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> Which position do you play? I am one of the thieves, <laughs> <laughs> I am a thief in juggle, so I, I do, I thieve and juggle. Okay. Yeah, you thieve and juggle. Okay, so yeah, we should watch our balls and clubs around you. Yes. You're, you're going to try and it's, it's actually quite tempting. But it's quite tempting right now. She's been trained. He leans away. <laughs> Very smart. Very smart. <laughs> Notice the focus, guys. He's not messed up once yet. No <laughs> pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Uh, <laughs> all right, so okay, so you're playing a thief and you got mm -hmm. the detective who's a freshman, which is interesting to know. So how do you guys for JPAC actually recruit then? If you've got freshmen coming in and, and, and mm -hmm. performing on the show. So we hang out on alumni lawn uh, during the year on Sundays, and we juggle, and we invite anyone to come out, and we teach them how to juggle. So a vast majority of our cast who are in the show doing exactly what Ben is doing have never juggled before they came to Vanderbilt, and they've learned all these things, and it's their chance to show them off to their friends, and they get really excited. That's what I can imagine, too. So how, how long do you say it would generally take someone to learn how to juggle? To learn how to do what Ben is doing right there, depending on how, how coordinated you are, it can take from three minutes to, you know, a week or two. To a week or two. Depending. Okay. You can learn the basics in a day. Okay. And to make it smooth and, you know, keep it going it takes a little longer. I got you. So I'm a freshman. Are anybody on campus then? And I walk by alumni line, so you guys mm -hmm. out there. I just, do I just walk up? You just it? walk up and say hi. We are unsurprisingly friendly about everything. We love juggling, and we love teaching people how to juggle. So. Okay, well, fantastic. And then you can be in the show. So does everyone get to be in the show? Yes, we don't have tryouts. We don't have any qualifications. If you want to be involved, you can be a performer. You can be a tech crew, or really any way you want to be involved in the process. You can help us come up with our plot line. You know. Cops and robbers, or detectives and robbers, rather. Right. That's right. And, and now the show itself is not uh, just juggling, right? You guys have no. other acts as well. We do. Okay, well, who do you have this year? Coming so up? our guest acts this year are Momentum uh, dancers, and we have a solo dance act by Kyle Courtley, and we have Vanderbilt Spoken Word is going to come and do a little commentary on our plot for us. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so, and I actually have a solo act as well that's sort of separate because it's just one person. So Interesting. Okay. It's a lot of, but even the juggling acts aren't just juggling. There's, we have a sports routine where people are, you know, running around in shopping carts and nice. really anything creative that you can think to do that's fun. Nice. Well, very cool. Very, and, and so you said spoken word. So it, though it is generally a silent show pretty mm -hmm. much though, right? So yes. a lot of miming going on. 
The, the acting is a little difficult because you can't speak, right. but um, you have the music to guide you, and this is the first year we're going to have um, spoken word with us, and they have done a phenomenal job. So. Absolutely, you match that. All right, so Vanna, we got a great show uh, coming up this mm -hmm. weekend, then, and I am going to take you up on the challenge to see. <laughs> you said three minutes. I bet I can do it in 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Challenge 30 accepted. Se challenge accepted? Okay, okay. Well, if you two would help me, uh, they gave me some blue balls earlier, guys. Uh, just to help me, to help me learn. All right. So, if I am going to juggle, what do I do with these things? Oh, then. So basically, the the point um, or the to juggle is really simple. It's just one throw over and over and over again. You're going to pick the ball. You're going to throw it about head height, and just back and forth. And the most important thing is to think about keeping it in plane. So it's going left to right. And so not for it. Yeah, exactly. Like, prep. Just like prep. Prep. Right. Am I, am I using my fingers or am I using my palm when I do this? Um, both. Both. Yeah, <laughs> you're, just, you're just catching it. Using um, the hand. Okay. Right, using the hand. Uh, so, <laughs> next step, right. once you got that down, is you get two balls. And you're going to throw one up, and once it gets about to the middle, you're going to throw the second one up under. Under. So okay. One, two. Like that. Okay. So, okay. one, two. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, two. Yes. Exactly. 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 <laughs> and it's important to be able to do that on both sides. So one, oh, two. both sides. And that's like a real challenge. There you go. I'm like very, <laughs> very right-handed. There you okay, go. Yeah. Okay. So then, once you do that, it's a very simple uh, extension to three balls here. Very simple. Very simple. Very simple. <laughs> very simple. Well, watch and your head because I just said my This is called trust. Yeah. If you hit me, you know, <laughs> I didn't happens. trust me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you go one, two, just like you do for the first one, but you just throw the third one up. Okay. I got it. Okay. So one, two, three. Exactly, yes. Okay. Yes. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Right. Nice. So what's that called? That's called a flash. Flash. It's throwing the, throwing the pattern once. Okay. Um, and if you throw the pattern twice, it's called qualifying. And that means, okay. yes, you qualify it. That means you know the pattern and you can juggle. That so means one, you can go around two, and tell three, all your friends four, that you can five, juggle. Six. Yeah. Okay, okay. So <laughs> six throws, two rounds of the pattern, and I can say I'm a juggler. Okay. Exactly. All right. Yes. Challenge guys to see if they can qualify. All right. Ready? <laughs> Boom. Beautiful. Qual he can juggle. <laughs> I'm, I'm a juggler, and you see it happen that fast. So if you want to be a pro, impress your parents, guys at Pratt House, try it with a beer. It's probably heavier, more dangerous, <laughs> and you're probably intoxicated. Uh, but something worth trying. You know, if I if I could do it with these blue balls, anyone can. Right? Probably. Absolutely. So do you guys have any last minute pitch to the Vanderbilt population about JPAC in general? Um, come out to the show if you've never seen it before. It's honestly a one-of-a-kind show. You can't see any of the stuff that we're doing in any other shows on campus. So it's a lot of fun, and um, I hope you all come out. It's this weekend. It's this weekend. Now, guys, just one last taste after I try and do this one more time. Uh, we'll also, you so you guys can see some real juggling as opposed to just my little antics. Thank you. All right. Run into the camera. I'm running off stage, but here are the pros. Show off what you got, guys. Uh-oh. Show off what we got. All right. All right. <laughs> So Ben, do you want to show some I can, tricks? I can throw a couple of tricks here. So we got mills. Mills, mats, and windmills. Oh, I can't do that one. You can't do windmills? No? And You're more talented. And got reverse chops, oh. uh, you got some columns here. <laughs> Very nice. Box is fun. <laughs> All sorts of fun stuff you can do, different tricks. But Look, I can't compete with that. So, <laughs> Better milk. That and much more coming up. Be ready for a great show, a detective story, maybe a little spoken word. <laughs> be there or be square.